Well, hello everyone, and welcome to episode 5 of season 1. I've been mining between episodes, so I've got some new stuff, but I find it really difficult to get some coal. So, I thought of a system to get it some more power. And as you can see, it's really slow. And so I want to have a different source of power and I want to do it with peat fired engines. And for peat we're gonna need some... Wow, look at that, a enderman. Let's just... Where did it go? Hey, where did it go? It's gone. Oh, there it goes. So I want to set up a system um, to get my peat fired engines going. Now, how am I gonna do that with some red power stuff? You see, my generator is full. My pet box is full. I'm quickly gonna charge up my drill. It's right over here. I've been mining with the um, red power tools because I couldn't get enough coal to keep my generator running. Uh, I could get some solar power, but I don't want that yet, so let's leave it like this for now. And for the red power I need a red alloy furnace. Uh, so I need a lot of clay. And I found some clay over here I guess. Yeah, it should be over here. And I need a lot of sand for the peat fired engine. Or, not for the peat fired engine, but for the peat bark. Now, there should be some clay over here. And I didn't make it. Okay. Now let's see if we can do it from up here. Now for the red alloy furnace I need 32 clay and for the peat bark I need 4 more clay. Now down below water it's difficult to mine. Now to get some sand as well, uh, let me see, what's the easiest way to collect this stuff? I know there is a, a desert nearby, I think uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get some uh, cacti as well, to get my waterproof piping for buildcraft, but for now a bit of sand will be enough. Uh, bog earth is the main source you're gonna need to put in the uh, peat bog and it's created by sand and dirt and a bucket of water so quickly gonna get some sand gonna need a lot of it so the more the better I think I want two stacks so let me get two stacks of sand and I'll be back okay I've got myself some clay and some sand lots of sand even so we need to kick up some of the clay to get the clay bricks for the red alloy furnace let me do that and I'll be back when it's done. Now as you can see we're almost done. I was just looking up the recipe for a turbary and a peat bark. So we're gonna need that. But first we need to get our alloy furnace together. So there we go. 
I need to make some bronze for the machine, so let's do that with some tin and some copper. We're gonna need two sturdy machines, so that's gonna be 16 bronze dust. Let's divide it to 12, 14, and 16. There we go. No. Let's cook this up. And let's create our um, red alloy furnace. No, I'm gonna need some bricks. Okay, so there we go. Should have enough bricks to create an alloy furnace. There we go, nice. So let's place this alloy furnace and we need to create a filter with it, a deployer, and some red alloy wire. Now I saved up some coal. So let's put that in there. Um, let me see. What do I need? I think I'm gonna need some silver for this. And I left it downstairs. Not really handy, so let me get my silver. Silver ingots. I did have some bronze left. Some redstone, some nickelite probably. And... wrench with us. Oh, and we do need copper ingots later on. Now let's see, what are we gonna create? I need four. The deployer. Um, wow. Recipe. Shape crafting. What's this? Uh, okay, let's see. Um, for the deployer, I don't need the red alloy furnace, but for the filter, I'm gonna need it. Let's get the recipe. Two gold ingots and a red dope wafer. Now, to get a red dope filled wafer, I'm gonna need sand. And some coal. And it requires more sand. Hmm. <laughs> Probably. Um, eight coal, eight sand. Wow, that's expensive. There we go. It's gonna create me one. Now, for this to work, I need to have a handsaw. And for now, I'm gonna make a iron one. And don't forget to get our silicon tool. Because we need to cut up our silicon wool. So let's get some sticks. Get some iron. Should I do it with iron? Or can I do it with... Uh, where's my... With some emeralds. My handy. Ooh, that's a bit too much. One. So now to get the silicon wool all cut up, can't we? Doesn't need to be diamond, really. Must be possible with other answers. Okay, it's not. So we need to have a diamond answer. Nasty. Am I for diamonds? That, so. Well, okay. Here we go again. Iron, and let's get our diamonds there. And there we go. Okay, now to get it a red silicon wafer, we need to put it in a alloy furnace with some redstone. I'm only needing one, so not too much of a hassle. 
There we go. I'm wasting a bit of coal here, but... Ah, for now, that's gonna be okay. So let's get crafting. Get my gold out. Put two pieces of gold. A, oh, first I need to create a piston. And a... Oh, it's not showing up. This one shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> and I'm messing it up already. What's happened to my abilities? A holiday break got me. I don't know. So now we can do it like this. Add some stone to the top and to the bottom. Add our silicon bowl. And there's our filter. Now we've got a filter. Now we only need a deployer. Which I thought was something like this. Oh, I'm forgetting the chest. Oh. Deployer. Redstone. And I need to have a chest somewhere around here. Yep, I do. So let's put our chest up there. And some cobble. Now we've got the deployer. I need to smelt up some of the stone. Because I also want a timer. And I want to make some red alloy wiring. I am a bit rusty at creating silver. So, red alloy. Wiring, what's the recipe of that? So, four pieces of redstone and a iron ingot or a copper ingot. And I've got bronze, I've got some copper, and I've got some gold. Uh, what do I want to use for this? So, not silver. And put in a piece of coal. See what we get. Because I need three pieces of red alloy. Or three red alloy ingots to get my red alloy wire. And that's created. I also want to create a supplier pipe. And a logistics uh, provider pipe. Might as well get that. Okay, and go on, last one. And let's cook up some smooth stone. There's our bronze for our sturdy machines. And I need to take with me my clay. <coughs> And while that is going, um, no, I'm not gonna mess rate yet. I'm gonna leave it now. now. This should be enough to get myself going. So to get my red alloy wiring, go one piece of that. It gives me twelve red alloy wires. Now I want to get myself a timer. And this is a difficult build because you need all kinds of stuff. So I need three pieces. One, two, three of those. I need the crossed ones. Three of those, which is one too much. Um, okay, that's the pointer. Stone pointer, we need a smooth stone, redstone torch, and a stone wafer. And I still have some torches, luckily. So let's get that going. That's our stone pointer. And last, I need the cathode, which is just a 
redstone torch with a stone wave. And we should have all components to make a timer. Um, I don't remember, so let's overlay that. Oh, got it all almost right. Oh, you must be kidding me. I forgot two of those, so... I might want to change it up a bit later on, but for now, this will be fine. Furnace, getting my... Or stone wafer. Two of them. Stone wafer. And the top gives me my timer. So we've got our timer. Let's create our sturdy machines. Put one in the middle with some glass. And I'm out of glass. Let me create some glass and I'll be right back. Okay. Got myself some glass. And let's put the clay in there. Uh, for the terrarium. This is going to mine the bog earth. And create peat of it. And then we need another one, also with glass, and four pieces of copper. And this is going to give you the peat bark. So we've got that. I need two buckets. I don't have enough iron, so... Oh. Okay, this is not going to be handy. Let me see, do I have any... Oh yeah, I have plenty of that. Put that in there, and then one, two, three. Two buckets to supply water. Of course. Now I want to have a provider and two supplier pipes. Let's see how we're gonna make that. That's gonna be a complicated build for sure. We need first need the logistics pipe, logistics basic logistics pipe. The recipe for that is a diamond transport pipe, two golden gears. I'm first gonna create the golden gears. That's two wooden gears. Surround me with cobble to get these stone gears. Surround that with iron, you get the iron gear. And if you surround that with gold, you get the gold gear. There we go, two golden gears. Now to create two redstone torches. those already and what else do I need I've got some glass I need a diamond pipe that's quite simple to make get eight for that so one diamond pipe two redstone torches two golden gears and what am I missing some glass oh I need I did it all wrong of course and some more glass. These are basic logistics pipes. Now to get a provider logistic you need to have some glowstone. And I don't have glowstone. Hmm, that's gonna be a problem. But we can make one piece for sure. So let's see, I need to have a crafting logistic no and a supplier, which is two pieces of lapis lazuli. And that should be in here. And I want two, two supply pipes. Go. Put our basic logistics in there, and we get our two pipes. Now to get the glowstone, I'm gonna do a tricky recipe, or not really tricky, but okay. so. Mail your recipe. I'll be back when this is macerated. Okay, I put down a chest for all my pipes. So I don't get lost with it. And maybe put in my tools as well. It's gonna be a bit easier to get things separated and organized. Um, so I've got my gold dust. And this recipe is to create some glue. Luckily I just need one provider pipe, so one piece of glowstone will be enough. Let's put a basic logistics below that. And we've got our provider logistics pipes. 
Okay, and our supplier. Well, now let's see what else do I need. I've got all that collected. Now I need to have a project table. No, not a project table. A crafting, what's it called? Automatic crafting table. And four wooden gears in the crafting table. I think I still have one crafting table over here. So let's take that. Let's create four wooden gears. One, two, four and Our surrounding crafting table to get a automatic crafting table. I think I've got all supplies ready at the moment. Uh, let me see. Okay. Now I only need a good spot to go, and I want to have some levers. Let's create some levers to take with me. Let me find a good spot to get this going and I'll be back. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop my uh, farm for a minute. Because I want to place one lower so we can put the peat bark next to it. So I'm gonna just take my engines. Because as you can see it's not going very fast and it's taking way too long to get this built. So. Let me just put down infinite water well. Get my two buckets out. Some water going. And let's create our feed bark. Well, I don't think around here. Maybe I need a bit more space for this. Let me see how I want to load this out. So in here is gonna be our peat buck and it needs a bit of space so let's be careful with that. I'm not sure how much but Oh, we're gonna move it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so over here is gonna be my spring. Open it well. And below that is gonna be the deployer, so let's place that first. And I didn't make myself a screwdriver. Let me create one and I'll be right back. Ah, I forgot. You haven't seen the uh, screwdriver, so you create it by just a stick and some iron. And you've got yourself a screwdriver, which is the red power equivalent of a wrench to manipulate the red power tools and or tools machines. I don't need to rotate this, but I think I'm gonna need to rotate the filter. Okay, let's place our filter behind that. Or should we place it below it? Um, maybe that's better. Yeah, could be. Why not? Um, can we place that below there? Oh no, I'm afraid not. So, okay, let's place it like this. Get our wrench out and rotate it. Okay, and there it is. Okay, I forgot myself a chest. So let's get a chest. Still have one in my inventory. There's the chest. What I needed. Go put the chest behind the filter. Filter. Now on top of this, I'm gonna place. No, I'm gonna place it. Place. Next to the chest, I'm gonna place my automatic crafting bench so it can take from the chest next to it. Okay, now to get this provided and supplied, I'm gonna take out my 
provider pipe and put it on the side and I'm gonna take one supplier pipe and that's gonna be right here. I've got two sorts of pipes and one of them is a sand pipe because I don't want to connect it to the filter. Let's get out some sand and create a sand pipe. And I also want a wooden pipe to pump out stuff. So one, oh, I need two of those. And a piece of glass gives me eight sand pipes, which is plenty. I don't need that many, but just to get started. And let's also take out my stone pipes. And I don't need to create a wooden pipe to pump out my items. Am I doing this wrong? How do you create a wooden wooden pipe? I don't want, I just want a wooden transport pipe. Okay, so two. Oh, let's get right this. And put a piece of glass in between there. And get a wooden transport pipe. Wow, we should be good to go now. I've got so many items to take with me. Okay, this is gonna be fine. So we're gonna put down our sandpipe. And where is it at? Go. Uh, sandpipe is not connecting to the filter, which is nice. The filter is only gonna filter out the pool buckets. Let's wait with that for now. <laughs> uh, because I still need my buckets. And this is gonna create the Recipe for dirt. What's the recipe for? Oh, here you go, bug earth. I still need to have my water buckets to create the infinite well, so I'm gonna keep it with me. Okay, let me think this through and I'll be back in a second. Okay, I think I'm fine with this. This is gonna be okay. I can just place my peat bug over here and get the supply logistics and we must or make sure this is gonna supply the peat bug with the uh, bug earth which is gonna need and this one needs to be connected to a wooden pipe because we want to have the items or the bug earth uh, extracted from the, uh, from the automatic crafting table my stone transport pipe and put it like this. Now I do have a redstone engine with me and two redstone torches. So let's put down our redstone torch. And on top of that we are gonna place a There we go. So that's gonna extract from there. Now to get these two holes, I'm gonna do this a bit differently. Close this up and open this up. So this is where our water is gonna be. And now to get our these two poles, I'm gonna put down a timer. And where am I gonna put the timer? Because Gonna be a bit difficult. I'm gonna just take the red alloy wire and maybe put it on there or in front of it. Doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, that should be okay. And let's get our timer and place it down. Get our screwdriver and relocate it like this. Okay, now to get the thing going, we just need to supply it with some water. Yeah, that's gonna be okay. And two buckets. One over here. And one over here. 
Let's get one full bucket again. And let me see. Uh, let's get the filter. How am I going to get too much filter? Let's chest. Ah, I can't get the filter anymore. <laughs> this is going to be a bit messy, but okay, well, hell. Will do. We're gonna insert in our filter just a full bucket. And it's getting night time already. Okay. Now we need to tell our provider pipe to provide it with empty buckets. And our supplier provider pipe to provide empty buckets. And let's put a empty bucket in there. So it's gonna supply the empty buckets to the deployer, which is gonna create a full bucket, and the filter is gonna pull it out and put it in the chest. Now to tell the system what to do with it, we're gonna place it inside our crafting system, and then it knows how to create bug earth. I'm gonna need one more bucket. Get the system going. So let's do that. And sleep through the night. Let me just first sleep through the night. Okay, now let's get a empty bucket to get into the system. And let's get my iron ingots. Because I already put that away. So, ready to get a empty bucket. And let's create two to take with me on my knees. I need to eat. Uh, maybe it's a good time to create some soup. I got two types of mushrooms. Let's create a bowl. Add the mushrooms and we have some mushroom soup. Yum 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 yum. So there we go. Full health. Okay, now the last bit. I'm anxious to see this work. Would be nice. Okay, let me provide the system with one more bucket. It's gonna be pulled out. Filled up. And I forgot to provide my system with enough sand and dirt. But this is gonna be enough for now. And as you see, there's the bug earth. Getting pumped out. Now we need to provide this one with some power. So I'm gonna create a steam engine to boost it a bit. <coughs> this is not gonna be too hard. Because a steam engine is made from some gears, some cobblestone, some gears. Piston. I'm gonna create it quick and be back when I'm ready to pull it out. Okay, there we have our steam engine. Not too difficult. So let's take our steam engine and also take some more dirt with us. Ah, uh, maybe even more. Uh, does it? Oops. It's maybe better for the system. Got myself a lever. And did I bring some coal with me? No, I didn't. So let's get my coal out. And just to get the system going. I'm gonna provide this. Let's put our engine. Would be nice to put it there. Get our engine ready. And, and place it. No, that's not. Let's 
try that again. Yep. And there we go. Get our lever. Is it gonna mess with my system or not? I think it's gonna. No, it's okay. We're doing good. And that's not the engine I wanted to place. Okay, so. Again, better, <clears throat> and add some coal to it. Now we've got some bog earth already. Wow, nice. let's add some more dirt and sell this pipe to supply it with. Oh, I don't know, 64 bog earth. And it can do partial request and oh ah, I didn't want to do that. Damn it. Where's my pipe? There's my pipe. Derping around as usual. So let's tell it to provide empty buckets and to provide bugger. So. And there it is, clearing out Quite a bit faster. Here are this system and because we're gonna do this a bit quicker with a peat fire than even. I'm gonna let the system run for a bit and when it's ready I'm gonna show you how it's like. Okay, as you can see it's gonna it's done placing down all the bug earth and filling up the holes where the water is it wouldn't just flow down and I'm gonna fill in the rest a bit I'm gonna do the weed farm and redo that just a bit off the side and not with redstone engine but with beat fired engines and I will do that off camera so you don't have to watch that so this is gonna provide me with the peat I need for power um, so, I think this is a nice wrapping up point, I'm gonna sign off and I hope to see you next time in episode 6, when we need to get something going for our food. So, thanks for watching and hope to see you next time, bye bye.